Hi, I'm Tom Whitaker, and in this video I want to tell you about how I've updated the Colossus 21 and Proven 8 strategies that I published in two of my previous books. The reason why I've updated them, I've updated them with the latest data, and I've also focused on them by each individual league and also looking at the graphs for each individual league. Why have I done that? Well, if we take a look at what a league should look like, this is an example of uh, England League One looking at draw bets for them. And if a bookmaker has got their model correct, then they should just get constant profit. They should just get a constant negative yield of putting our money in their pocket. This is another league. This is the English Championship. And we can see here the bookmaker is not making a profit like they were doing in the English League One. We can see here it's going up in a mountain shape and then it's come down here and it's gone into a valley and now it's coming up. And what I've discovered, there are certain graph shapes in the research period that are good signs of a chance of profit in the future. And this kind of valley shape here, this is a good sign that we're looking for because we can see that this trend is going to start to go up. So I'm going to include that in my strategy. When I've been updating and researching these strategies again. What I've done is I've been checking each individual league. Does it have enough data? For example, having more than 100 bets in a data set for one league is a good sign that you have enough data to make a decision. If you only have 10 bets in a league, that's not enough data to say whether it's a good league or not. So when I'm researching, I usually rank my leagues by how many bets they have so that I start with the leagues with the most bets and the more data I have, um, the more sure I can be that this is a real pattern, a real trend or not. Also, as I said, I'm looking at the graphs and I'm looking, is the graph showing a good trend? So far, what I've seen is that good signs are a smooth increase or valleys. Uh, this English championship graph just here, this is a sign of a valley and we're just on the upside of that valley. You don't want to be in the downside of it, you want to be picking it up afterwards, so that would be a good sign. This is an example graph of a smooth increase. I know there's bumps on the way, but in general I would call this a smooth increase in profit. You can almost say that back here it was a valley and then it went up into a, a smooth increase. A little bit of a down there, but it's on another smooth increase here. So this is a good graph. I would want to follow this league. A fair trend is a, a terraced increase. This is an example of what I'd call a terraced increase. It kind of it jumps up and then it's flat and then it jumps again and then it's flat and it jumps again and it's flat. It jumps again and it's flat. It jumps again and it's flat. So I call that a terraced increase. Uh, these are not as good as a smooth increase because it tends to come in jumps, um, but it's still a fair pattern. Next, a poor graph is one with mountains because it tends to be decreasing. Here's an example of a mountain. You can see here it's gone up there and now it's going down. So while this league is still in profit, because recently we're seeing a big mountain trend here, I would say this is not a good lead to follow or include in your inner strategy. And the bad trends are the graphs with jumps with declines and smooth declines. Uh, here we can see an example of a jump with a decline and then another jump and then a decline and a jump and a decline. And uh, I would say this is uh, a league, this one's the finish league that I would not want to include in my set, even though it's in profit, because generally it's a jump followed by a decline. And this is an example of a generally smooth decline. So you can see it's pretty much all the way straight down here. And of course, this is definitely not one a league that you'd want to include in your strategy. So a big change with when I've updated now is that I'm really checking, does it have enough data in its data set for each league? And also, is the graph of each league showing a good trend? Is it a smooth increase? Is it a valley? Is it a terraced increase? I'm looking for those. I'm avoiding mountains, jumps with declines and smooth declines. So now we have two systems made with two research styles that are up and available on the Public Strategies page on the Betterminic website. On the Public Strategies page, you can click on Type of Strategies, click on Pro, and you'll see them all come up there. Um, you'll see some of the original Colossus strategies are still up there because they have found long-term trends that look very good. You can see the updated ones say updated in brackets and the date it was updated on the Betterminic website is there. So you can see very clearly which ones are original ones and which ones have been updated and when they have been updated. The Colossus 17 dog draw has just recently been updated on the 4th of July and already it's doing really well. If we look at the results since shared, it's already made um, 20 points profit in 
100 bets. So that's a tw nearly a 20% yield. That's a really good start there from the dog draw. So the two systems and the two reach search stars I have now are the Colossus 21 is using the latest data looking for recent trends. It has a research period of all eight seasons. So it uses all of the data available to research. So especially at the end of the graphs, it's the latest data there. The Proven 8 is still splitting its data between a six season research period and a two season test period. This is trying to find longer term trends, but again, now it's updated with the latest data. So now we have more data in the research period and we have the latest test period. So it's also researching with the latest data. So a key thing I'm going to add here is to review and update data periodically, especially for the Colossus 21, because that's really focusing on the latest data. The Proven A is really trying to look for longer term trends. The Colossus 21 was from my first book, Winning Sports Betting Strategies with Betterminic, and the Proven A was in my second book, Big Data Betting on Football, The Betterminic Guide 2. And so now I've updated those with the latest data and all also focusing individually on each league the data set and the graphs in each. And then when you have these, if you put this together with the correct staking plans, which is in my staking plans book, I recommend Whitaker staking or secure staking, then you have a good chance of a profitable strategy. Also, if the volume of bets is a little bit high, then you can automate your betting by using a bot. I recommend the BF bot manager. So I manually input my bets there and then it will automatically bet for me. Also, on, if you haven't seen it yet, the Better Minute website have added a new section, a statistics area, and they've got some fantastic tools there, especially this interactive table where you can click on various statistics and, and filter different data. You can see match odds results and also goals data. It's a really amazing tool. So if you haven't seen this yet, please go and take a look at this. Thank you for watching my video and I hope you have success using the Better Minic strategies.